What up everybody? Welcome to the lab. Thanks for coming. Today I'm going to make some potassium nitrate using these calcium ammonium nitrate cold packs that I found and some potassium chloride that I have lying around the lab. Now, potassium nitrate has a few different uses. One of the commercial uses being stunt remover and I was trying to buy it um, from there but I couldn't find it. I don't know why. Nowhere near me sold it so you know it's fine. I found this calcium ammonium nitrate decahydrate so here we are. Now, uh, how am I going to do this? Well, there's this thing I can do called the salt metathesis reaction, salt meta metathesis metathesis reaction, um, wherein, which is just a fancy way of saying that we're going to switch the ions around, wherein you take a salt, which is made of ions, you know, like potassium chloride or sodium chloride, table salt, same thing, and you're going to dissolve it in water. Now, you know, this calcium, ammonium, nitrate, decahydrate is the same sort of thing as any other salt. It's just got a couple extra ions. But once you take the solid and you put it in some water, the water surrounds all the individual ions and it has an easier time doing that once you heat it up. And that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to take this, we're going to dissolve it in some water, we're going to boil that water. And then once that water is boiling, we're going to take some of this, we're going to add it to that water, and then we're going to boil it again to make sure everything's dissolved and all of the ions are like this. And then once we start cooling it down, because of the three products we have, calcium chloride, ammonium chloride, and potassium nitrate, the, uh, some of them, once we start to cool it down, have a harder time staying dissolved as compared to the others. So once we start to cool it down, which we're going to have to put it in the freezer, they'll start to come out as a solid. And in this case, the first one that's going to come out is going to be this potassium nitrate, which is what we want. And that's exciting. Now, a note though, this gets a little tricky because we also have these two in solution. And while calcium chloride is one of the most soluble things you'll ever find in your life, ammonium chloride is so-so, especially when you have so much of this calcium chloride in the water already. So we have to be a little careful, and by that I mean we just have to hope that things work the way we want them to because uh, at a certain point this could start to crystallize out, but this will also crystallize out on top of it. And it looks really cool, but it's you know not what we want. And then we have to take all of it and recrystallize all of that, and then we lose some. So the yield on this isn't amazing, but it is a way to make potassium nitrate if, like me, you can't buy it. So let's get to it. All right, so got the cold pack cut open, got our water bag out, um, and now we're gonna weigh this to see how much we're starting with, and that'll give us an idea of how much potassium chloride we need. All right, so now let's see how much of this calcium ammonium nitrate we actually have here. Yeah, roughly. Okay. <clears throat> I might not need to. I might not need to use the one liter Erlenmeyer. I might be able to get away with a smaller piece of glassware. Changed to a beaker here because I decided that this is a lot cleaner and I'm probably not going to need as much water. Um, so now we're going to. Add a stir bar but you want to try and not drop those in there. And then we're going to take our calcium ammonium nitrate, which is fairly hygroscopic actually, and we're just going to dump it in there. Um, now, ideally I would use distilled water for this, but tap water should be fine, and tap water is what we're going to use. So now I'm going to need a... <laughs> let's see. It's supposed to dissolve in this, right? So let's try it. Let's just see if we can get it most or all of it to dissolve in the packet of water that it came in. All right. And we're going to have to heat this because, well, these are instant cold packs. So this is going to get, yep, yeah, it's already pretty cold. Let's give it some stern. very cold. It's like ice cold. Well, I mean, it's an instant cold pack. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> uh. Pretty 
patience is always the name of the game with chemistry and more or less every in every every aspect of it. So just you know, not talk about the time you should just wait. If something's not happening the way you think it should, just wait. Don't do anything, just wait. It'll probably start. If you give it a little bit more time. Alright, so it's boiling now and it's still really cloudy which means that either it's not all dissolved or it's just a crud. So I'm gonna try adding another, I don't know, 50 mils of distilled water and seeing if that helps to clear things up a little bit. I mean, again, presumably the water that was included was enough to dissolve everything that was in the packet. So I would probably, I'm gonna let this get up to a boil again a little bit more vigorous stirring and then if it's uh if it's still not cleared up then we're going to go on ahead and filter it Alright, this is starting to smell kind of funny and it's been going for a few minutes so we're gonna stop the heat, stop stirring and we're gonna filter it. Now I don't really think I need to worry about it crystallizing out or anything like that otherwise I would do a hot filtration but given the excess amount of water that I most that I seemingly used I think I'll be fine. Yes gross binder stuff that they use. I don't know what it is, but we're going to get this filtered. That's still a little, still a little cloudy, but you know, it's fine. It's fine enough. We're crystallizing stuff out of it, so. Still more solution. Ooh. Yeah, there's a strong smell of ammonia coming from it now, though I think I might have boiled it a little too much. It's fine. Sneezes. Some free nitrate in solution. Yeah, I think when you boil solutions of... I think when you boil solutions of ammonium nitrate, or mini ammonium salts, they eventually start to evolve ammonia. Alright, so now we're going to take this and set this back up here. And then, now we started out with a roughly 100 grams. So we need around 70 grams, which is a slight, which is slightly less, but given that some amount of our mass is accounted for with this crap, I don't know what that is, but there's a decent amount of it in there. I could weigh it, but nah. So, I'm just going to use slightly less potassium chloride. And this is actually potassium chloride I recrystallized from some fertilizer. It's why it's, uh, it's got this weird pink color to it. There's some, I don't know what it was, some weird dye stuff that was in there with it that didn't want to come out but all right so 71.66 grams 67 grams that's going to be enough let's get it in there just going to let that stir and let all of the solids dissolve and we should be left with a mostly clear solution and then we're gonna chill it down in the fridge and see what we get Now that everything is sufficiently stirred, we're gonna let it cool slowly to room temperature first, and then we're gonna put it in the freezer, or in the fridge rather, in the lab fridge, and then we'll take it out and we'll see the crystals that we get, if we get crystals. All right, we're back. So uh, 
yeah, I added too much water because um, in the beginning I wasn't really sure about all that gooky stuff and I wanted to make sure I dissolved all the calcium ammonium nitrate. But it's fine. You just boil it off when that happens. But yeah, I stuck it in the freezer to see if anything would crystallize out. I got some odd flocculent material that wasn't any of the salts that I wanted. Probably just some impurity that was left over from the potassium chloride that I use, which, you know, when you crystallize your stuff from fertilizer, you know, and impurities happen so it's fine um i filtered that out and now i've got it just on the stir plate i'm gonna boil off some of this water and then we're gonna stick it back in the freezer and hopefully then we will get our potassium nitrate Yay, we got crystals. A little aluminum pan here. Coffee filter in it. Got our product crystals over here on the side. And paper towel. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take the paper towel, put it in here, put this on top of said paper towel, and then I'm going to Yeah. I am going to try to get just this whole cake out of the beaker without actually having to you know break it up because that would be cool let's see if i can get it onto this coffee filter uh, there i go okay oh, oh all right oh, almost it broke at the end but i mean that's to be expected but all right so we got some wet but rapidly drying potassium nitrate crystal cake here it's weird usually it is needles this looks like plaques you know, I have to check this and hopefully I didn't somehow screw this up I don't think I did look at that beautiful crystal surface oh my those are what they refer to as plaques in the literature I believe let me see if we can get a little closer no can we get a little closer? Can we get a little closer. Just a little bit. I want to. I want you. I want you to be able to see the the edges and the ridges and the valleys and all the all the good bits in here. So this is pretty nice. Um, it's a great crystalline product. It is not potassium nitrate. This is ammonium chloride. And I did a little simple test to see, but it's not like a visual test. I just I mix it with base and it makes ammonia solution and I burned my nose and this isn't what we wanted so uh, we're gonna figure that out in a minute but I thought I'd let you guys see these very gorgeous crystals because um, they are quite gorgeous they are quite that is quite lovely um, yeah in the beginning I mentioned that you know <clears throat> I mentioned in the beginning that you could that the solubility of the products is a little a little funky and well this can happen sometimes for whatever reason the ammonium chloride will come out instead of the potassium nitrate so definitely added way way too much water so we're still boiling it down and uh yeah i'm gonna add a seed crystal after i've reduced the volume by probably about half and uh yeah hopefully at that point we'll get some pretty spiky actual nit uh, potassium nitrate crystals got infected potassium nitrate crystals here and they're infected with ammonium chloride I don't know if you can see the little like I'm sure you can see those little square crystals on to growing on top of the needles it's like a mold it's kind of cool actually but yeah the solution saturated with well three different salts really 
but uh, I tried to see if I could get the potassium nitrate to crystal out alone, crystallize out alone. I guess I'm going to have to add a little bit more water to keep the ammonium chloride in solution while the potassium nitrate crystallizes. Sorry, I definitely thought that this was that it was recording, but it wasn't apparently recording. I reduced the volume by a lot and just pulled it out and you see we got some nice needle shaped crystals in here and that is typical of uh, potassium nitrate. So I'm going to go ahead and filter these and dry them so I can get a weight. Check out these potassium nitrate crystals. These needles be on fleek son. But for real though, these are some nice, some really nice crystals we got here. I'm going to weigh it and see how much we got. But this is the dry product a day later. Trusty toast oven. Sorry about the noise. Got the fume hood going. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got here. Kind of our yield. Alright, so, 17.70, 69, 70, 71 grams, alright, looks like that. Yeah, it's not great, but the mother liquor still has some in there, so I can probably show that down and get more, but I'm just going to go ahead and chuck this with the rest of what I got, and then, uh, and then we're going to heat some up, and I'm going to show you what it does when you heat it up. One of the uses for potassium nitrate is as an oxidizer, and I'm going to show you a very dramatic example of that. We're going to melt this potassium nitrate here and then I'm going to add a little bit of charcoal and we're going to watch some test tube fireworks. And if my torch would work. There we go. Sometimes it just likes to take a sweet time. There it goes. You can actually see the bits of nitrogen dioxide fumes coming off. Alright. There it goes. Check that out. It just skitters around the top. Wait, I think I want to put another piece in. Because we still got some more. We still got some more left here. Where my pieces go? Hold on. That was cool. I've never done this before. I shouldn't just like, but I want to see it. Let's see if we get it to go again. Come on! Come on! That was so cool. This is why I love chemistry. Look at it! Look at it go! Probably shouldn't breathe the smoke, but it's mostly carbon dioxide. What's happening is that the, the nitrate it being so hot is oxidizing the very hot carbon and turning it into just carbon dioxide. You still don't really want to breathe the smoke though because there's bits of nitrate, nitrogen fumes in there. But I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you enjoyed watching me make some of this. Uh, please do like, comment, subscribe, you know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.